So, you are looking for a pair of fast rolling tires that provide sufficient grip in tricky situations? Well, I've got you covered. With this tire combination, you can do your Sunday Epic, your marathon cross-country race, or even get into some trail riding without the need to pray for your life in tricky situations. I will tell you why I think that the Schwalbe Wicked Wheel and Racing Grey is a great tire combination for your aggressive cross-country bike or even your short travel trail bike. So starting with the front tire we got the Schwalbe Wicked Wheel 29 inch 2.4 width in super ground casing with the Addix speed grip compound. So the compound should provide good grip but also be decently fast rolling. It's their second fastest compound and uh, it's great for short travel trail bikes and cross country bikes. According to Schwalbe the tire is designed for aggressive trail riding. However, I think it's more uh, for casual trail riding and even for aggressive cross country bikes. For aggressive trail riding I would consider something with a better tread like the Nobinik for example. Speaking of the Nobinik, the tread design is pretty similar. However, instead of pairs of two and three blocks like on the Nobinik, here on the Wicked Wheel we have pairs of three and four blocks which are siped and ramped for even better rolling resistance. The Wicked Wheel will be pretty similar. However, due to the ramped uh, central thread, it will be much faster rolling while providing almost similar uh, grip in corners due to the very good executed side knobs, which I think is the biggest plus point of the Wicked Wheel. This tire really rocks in corners. I really like uh, the size of those uh, side knobs and I think it's a great idea from Schwalbe to put them all facing the same direction similar to the ones on the Magic Mary. This provides very decent, very constant grip in the corners. So coming to the weight of the tire, the Wicked Wheel in 29 inch, 2.4 width, in the super ground casing with the Addict Speed Grip compound weights 840 grams, which is I think okay for such a fast rolling tire, which provides decent cornering grip. In general, I can say that I'm very satisfied with the Wicked Wheel. I've used it both front and rear, uh, but I much prefer it on the front of my bike since I think it's great for uh, those short travel trail bikes. I've been using it for a uh, marathon race here in Croatia when it was uh, bone dry and I was satisfied with the rolling and also with the grip in the corners. However, I was also using the tire on the Salzkammer Good Trophy this year. Uh, you can see it in my last video. While it was very wet and the uh, roots and rocks were very slippery, and I was um, surprised how well such fast rolling tire behaved on those slippery rocks and roots. Also, uh, in the muddy conditions, I have almost never lost the front wheel, except when I have overdone it a bit. <laughs> However, I was satisfied with the tire and it wasn't as hard to pedal it as uh, the Nobinik last year. So overall I think it's a great tire for races like the Salzkammer Good Trophy, which are um, all day epics. So on the back we have the Schwalbe Racing Ray 29 2.35 width in the Addix Speed Grip compound and also in the Super Ground casing. According to Schwalbe this tire is designed for cross-country racing as a front tire in both mixed and dry conditions. However, I think it's a great rear tire due to the alternating central thread which provides all-time contact with the surface, especially important in dry pack and tarmac and enable also fast rolling, but also it offers decent shoulder knobs which enable good cornering capabilities. I've been using this tire for about three months on the rear of my bike and I think it's great. I'm very satisfied with the rolling speed and the rolling resistance. However, my biggest plus point of this tire is the great grip in wet conditions which I've encountered on the Salzkammer Good Trophy this year where I was very surprised how well this tire grips when we have thick mud on the uphills. The weight of the tire is according to the website 770 grams. I've measured mine to be 700. 90 grams which is okay it's not a big difference 20 grams can be considered not a big deal in general i'm very satisfied with the racing ray as a rear tire you can consider it also for your aggressive cross-country bike or your short travel trail bike however don't expect it to be fast as the for example thunderbird or the racing ralph however if you're more concerned about the fun one outward grip but also being it decently fast rolling you can for sure opt for the racing ray on the back of your bike. So I've promised you a bonus tip and here it comes. So how can you 
by yourself identify great thread patterns for your both front and rear tire. Well, being a beginner like me or intermediate rider, on the front tire you should consider tires that have good transitional knobs, like the Wicked Wheel. For example, if you are a beginner, I wouldn't suggest using a, for example, Maxxis Dissector, which is a great front tire for such kind of bikes. However, uh, the Dissector has a very pronounced central thread and side knobs. There are almost no transitional knobs and you have a gap. This tire is great for advanced riders, especially ones with an enduro or downhill background, because those riders are used to leaning the bike in the corners very hard and aggressively. And such tires work great if you're very aggressive in the corners. However, if you're a beginner, you're not that used to leaning the bike and therefore tires like the Wicked Wheel or Nobby Nick are much better for you because they provide transitional knobs and will be also hooking very good if you're not leaning the bike that aggressively into corners. Next, considering the rear tire, my suggestion is check the thread design for alternating uh, central thread. This enables all-time contact with the surface, important in dry pack and tarmac for fast rolling, and also it offers great cleaning capabilities when uh, riding in mud, so your tire will not clog up, for example like the Racing Ralph, which has a much more dense tread design, and therefore I think it's not that great in mud. However, the Racing Ray, for example, or the Vittoria Barzo have much wider knobs, also being alternate, they provide uh, all-time contact, however they will not clog up with mud so easily. I'm very satisfied with the tire combination, so the Wicked Wheel is great on the front and the Racing Ray is even better on the back of my bike and I'm very satisfied how those tires have behaved in the past three months. I've been riding both wet and dry conditions and in both the tires really excelled and were very good. So if you are looking for a combination for your aggressive cross-country bike or your short travel trail bike, you can safely consider those two tires and you have my recommendation for them. Be sure to check them in the super ground casing and the speed grip compound since this provides a good combination of puncture resistance and I think it's great for such kind of riding where you consider both speed on the uphills and also grip on the downhills and you want to have fun. What stands out the most about those tires for me is their predictability and uh, their versatility. So they are both usable on cross-country marathons but also for casual trail riding. So being very fast rolling but also grippy and good in, in the corners. Especially the Racing Ray, which is intended as a front tire. I very much like it as a rear tire, being intended as a mixed condition tire, so it's very good both on dry and wet surfaces and also it doesn't get clogged up with mud. So the Wicked Wheel being intended as a always down country tire, the name says it all, it's both good rolling it has very low rolling resistance and also it has a decent cornering grip due to those very good positioned and very large side knobs. I hope this video helped you uh, make your uh, decision about your next tire purchase. If you enjoyed the content and find it helpful, hit the like button for me and don't forget to leave a comment. What do you think about my tire combination? What do you think about the Wicked Wheel and the Racing Ray? And uh, comment uh, down what are your preferred tire combinations or what should I cover next in my uh, videos. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss content like this next time. Happy trails, ride safe and until next time. See you!